Welcome back. I hope you're enjoying your Wine 101 series. In today's segment, I want to show you how to properly open a bottle of sparkling wine or champagne. Now, champagne is made in the Méthode Champenoise method, otherwise known as the traditional method. And that means the secondary fermentation is done in the bottle, creating a ton of pressure. 70 to 90 PSI to be exact. That's roughly three times the amount of pressure in one of your car tires. Needless to say, it can be very, very dangerous. When it comes to your Cremants and your Proseccos, those are done in something called the Charmat method. So the PSI is roughly 20 to 30, but still enough pressure to cause a serious injury. So you really wanna be careful when approaching that bottle of sparkling wine. So while this may sound festive, you actually don't want your cork to make much noise at all. In fact, my mentor, Samé Mark Sauter over at Zoe's Restaurant in Virginia Beach, always says it shouldn't be any louder than a puppy fart. So that really paints a picture for you, right? So when it comes to opening the bottle, you're going to take the bottle and you're going to want to make sure it's dry. Condensation builds up obviously in a cold bottle of wine or if you're just removing it from your ice bucket. So you want to make sure the bottle's dry. And the sparkling bottles have, most of them will have a foil tab somewhere along the top here. I found it right here, but I actually want you to open it with a wine key. You can open it that way, but a wine key below the second lip of the bottle. Just put a nice cut in there. And what this is gonna do is gonna, it's gonna prevent contamination in your wine. So when you open still wines, consider doing the same thing. Take your wine key and cut right underneath that second lip. So there we go, the wire cage is exposed. As long as this is intact, it doesn't pose any damage, it doesn't pose any threat for injury or anything like that. However, once you start tampering with this wire cage, watch out, you really could lose an eye, so you really want to be careful with that. So I'm going to take the serviette or your towel, you can take a paper towel, a kitchen towel, anything like that, pop it over the top, that's going to uh, help me catch the cork if I happen to have a dry cork and it wants to come out faster. Um, so I take the bottle and I have the wire cage. 99% of the time, it's six turns counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go, the wire cage is nice and loose. So at this point, if there's enough pressure, we're talking 70, 90 PSI as I mentioned, this could just pop out at any time. So you wanna be very careful. And instead of turning both the bottle, uh, you wanna twist the bottom of the bottle and you wanna keep the top Firm. So whether you're having your thumb or your palm on it, make sure it's really firm. And I want you to slightly just twist the bottom of the bottle back and forth. My top hand is firm. I'm just going to slowly rotate back and forth. At this point, I'm feeling a little bit of give in the cork and I know it's ready to come out. Do not let up on that pressure. Keep slowly, slowly turning. That was a little bit louder than it should sound like. Had a little agitation here, I guess. But that's how you open a bottle of sparkling wine. And one of the reasons you don't want the cork to go flying across the room like you see in some of those movies, it actually relates, releases way too much of that gas and it flattens out your sparkling wine. And nobody wants flat bubbles, am I right? So I hope that helps you understand how to open a sparkling wine. And uh, I give myself a B minus for that one, but I hope you get an A plus at home. I look forward to seeing you in our next segment. Cheers.